It's Monday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. A woman was found dead yesterday north of Breckenridge. Sheriff's deputies reported the calls of a woman crying loudly at Swan's Nest Villas near Tiger Run Resort. Deputies found two women there. One of them was dead. Authorities are now investigating homicide. Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons. There was enough suspicious circumstances on scene that we need to rule out that this death was not caused by another human being. The woman found crying on the scene has not been arrested. No suspects have been identified. Detectives are still on the scene today with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation. Weekend traffic on the I-70 Mountain Corridor is creeping up again after bottoming out last weekend. Just over 103,000 cars passed through the tunnels. That's 10,000 more than last weekend. 23,000 more than the same weekend last year when a massive May snowstorm snarled I-70. Smoke from wildfires in Canada is coating Colorado in haze today. The Front Range has been getting the worst of it for several days now. Air quality down in Denver is two to three times worse than here in Summit. This haze is covering a giant swath of the U.S. from the Rockies to the Great Lakes and into the Plains as far east as Arkansas. 91 fires have scorched over a million acres in Canada nearly 2,000 times more than all of last year, according to Reuters. Alberta is the epicenter, but some fires have now creeped into nearby British Columbia. One video shows firefighters running from walls of flames, fed by wind and a dry winter. Incoming rain could be helping. Fire officials hope it does not bring lightning. The new town of Keystone is holding a town meeting tonight. The Charter Commission wants feedback on the rules and laws that are meant to be guiding the town. Tonight's meeting is at 6 o'clock at the Keystone Center. Anyone is welcome. Still up in the air is how the town will be run. The Township Committee wants to make sure Keystone is a home rule town with a mayor and town council. In sports, the Rockies lost to the Rangers yesterday, 13-3. Tonight, the Rockies open a series with the Marlins at 640. The Nuggets play the Lakers at 630 on ESPN. They lead that series three games to none, and they are chasing their first trip to the NBA Finals. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon. For the first time in school history, Summit High Baseball is the regional champ. The Tigers took care of business Saturday, beating Evergreen 4-3 and Palisade 10-9. Next up is the second round of the 4A State Tournament. Those brackets should be ready anytime today. Summit sophomore Ella Hagen is your new state champion for the girls' 1,600-meter run. She claimed the crown on the final day of the state 4A championships. Senior Dom Ramirez just barely missed the podium for the boys' 800-meter run. And this Wednesday is the opening race of the Town Mountain Bike Series at Frisco Peninsula. You've got divisions for adults, beginners, and kids. Get signed up now at racebreck.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.